So today I'm going to go through and um, disassemble the 03 Air unit, disassemble the, the camera. I had this unit installed in my 5 inch frame. So all four screws in the air unit I've already removed. Um, removed from the top, removed from the bottom. It's not a big deal. You just need a tiny little Phillips screwdriver and just remove all four screws. There's, there's eight in total, four on top, four on bottom. Once you remove those four screws, the antenna plate will come out and just pop off a UA, UA, UFL and then the camera plate will pop off. Pull up on your cable to disassemble your camera. You'll see the two halves separate. There's a ribbon cable in there. This ribbon cable, can you see that? Right here and right here on each end has a little bit of glue holding it in place. See if you can see that right here. A little glue. And I simply pushed it back on that end and I'm going to push it back from the edge on this end. Be gentle because this plastic housing that holds these pins you don't want to break that you don't want to lift up because as you can see there is glue there is a, a glue type substance holding the ribbon cable then you can simply push the other side through Simply push the other side and there is your three pieces. There's more of the glue-like glue -like substance. So I'm going to try and loosen it up a little bit. I don't want to add a lot of heat, but I just want to try and loosen that little glue up a little bit. Then Go ahead and rem I like to remove the glue. Next, go ahead and pull up the SD card reader. off. So now you have these two halves and the next step is you want to remove these heat shields. The reason being is there's still thermal paste underneath all this adding weight. The trick is is when you lift up on one of these edges not to push in. 
I'm going to use the tip of these tweezers and you simply let me see if I can't get a good example simply push up push up not in it's just it's just that's a small piece of tin so all that thermal paste all that thermal paste right there would just be adding dead weight so we're gonna go around and take off all of them same on this side just push push up not in Now we gotta get all that thermal paste out of there. Push up. The next step, the way I like to clean the thermal paste off of my boards is I use some alcohol, 99.99% isopropyl alcohol, please. You can use others. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a real stickler. I don't want any sort of um, leftover material on my circuitry, so I use 99% IPA. Uh, if you use water distilled water whatever you're you're just depositing minerals and stuff on your board um so i prefer 99 and there's no real real clean or easy way to go about this all you do is pour some alcohol on it brush pour some more brush just keep repeating until you get get a get a clean board it's a messy it does splatter
I don't want any of this. I don't want any, any of this uh, thermal paste to catch dirt and dust and and uh, hair and stuff and start building a nest on top of my circuitry. So I, I come back and I get. I see. I can't stop now. There's a little bit in these corners and stuff, um, but I'll come back. Um, but once you get your boards clean, you got your ribbon. Now for the camera. The camera's super easy. It's super, super easy. They definitely have tried to provide a robust protective shelf for it. Um, but it's super easy. Let me show you this. So oh, I don't know if this one fits. Get your, yeah, it will. Get you a Phillips head screwdriver. So let me take out that screw. Let's take out that screw. Fill the two halves. All right. So you can see there is your ribbon cable. It just pops off. There are four screws. One, two, three, four. Four in each corner. So we're just going to go in and remove those four screws. Then your camera just pulls right out. Here's a shot of the back. Your naked camera. Now, for this part, there's this plastic housing that is holding the antenna in. And you just need to work it to get it out. Take the little protective boot out. And then on the inside of the plastic, gently, I like to provide heat, soften that up, keep continually soften that up. Just keep widening that hole until you can a little heat goes a long way.
So it's two layers of plastic. There's a pl All right. So there's two layers of plastic on. So there's two layers of plastic. There's a plug on the outside you need to pop out. And then there's a, a thin layer of plastic that covers this hole that you need to soften and widen the hole. You can take the uh, ribbon and you can work it, pull it to the, pull it both ends this way, pull it from both ends this way, widen that hole so you can pull the ribbon through. But there's your housing for the camera. So all together, there's that. Let's see how how much the cable weighs. So all that's fourteen and a quarter. So the cable weighs a gram. Maybe we can shave off half a gram with a shorter cable. <laughs>